So now that we've finished, I'd like to ask you all what you feel you have got from your ESB assessments, if you feel that you've gained something particularly from it, or if there's something that you've, you've really enjoyed doing, I'd like to hear about it. So Brendan, what do you feel that you've gained from doing ESB? Um, I feel I've gained um, the confidence of speaking in public, and um, being able to do um, anything we really love to do with speaking. Okay, Kieran. Um, I think I've learned a lot about the people I've talked about and well, a lot of their stories and what happened in the history. Good. Okay, Lucy? I think I've learned that making boards and speaking about it is really fun actually and not as scary as you'd think it would be. Good. John? Well, I've gained public speaking skills clearly uh, because you're going to need it a lot in life with college and university. So. Okay, Abby? I think I've gained a lot of confidence because I used to be really shy and now I can just speak to anyone about anything. Right, Alex? I think ESB will help me in the future with job interviews, things like that. And I like learning about what other people's interests and things. Good, Toby? ESB has got me to sit more still than I used to and it's given me confidence to speak aloud in public. Good. Daniel? Ever since I started ESB, I don't have that much nerves anymore when I speak to people. Great. I think they're all really good reasons. Thank you very much. So you've now all finished your ESB assessment. I'd like to know from you what you feel that you've got out of ESB generally. What has it given you? What, what have you taken from it? So we'll start with Alice. I think it's given me quite a lot of confidence and it's, made, it's pushed me into wanting to be an actress as well. So, um, and I wouldn't be able to act if I didn't have, uh, didn't have any confidence. Thank you. I just think uh, more public speaking skills maybe, because if you're in university, you're going to have to do presentations and that kind of thing. So it just helps you with that really. And maybe with poetry, understanding poetry, and learning how to say it with feeling, maybe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, like Alice, I do a lot of acting in that. And I think it's sort of given me a best technique on how to act. Okay. Mm, I think it's given me um, the ability to research um, much better than I have been able to. And um, I also found out a lot of facts about um, the subjects I didn't know much about. So. I think it's made, it's helped me speak more confidently in front of people and it's improved my speech which will help me in my future life and jobs and university. Thank you. Kieran? Um, I think it's helped with confidence and um, I, um, as other people said, in university if you get asked to talk about subject, you can just talk about it without being scared. Lovely, thank you very much all of you, very well done. Think... Nicole, can you tell me how you feel your students have benefited from the ESB syllabus? I think there are a lot of students who are quite shy and they are put into that situation from a very early age. So they, at that age, don't feel any... any um, I don't have any problems, don't feel embarrassed yet, and they grow into this very, very nicely. And they do reach a point very often where the embarrassment age will be around 13, where they can feel embarrassed and they go into, the, into their little shell, but very often, or most of the time, once they um, reach the age of 14, 15, 16, they have moved out of that again and they, they excel really because they've had all this practice from a very early age onwards and it builds up and um, I think where you can see the, um, the effect and, and the benefit of, of ESB is when they do the speaking and listening part of their GCSE in year 10. Um, because the results then have been quite outstanding for uh, a lot of my pupils. I don't think we would have been able to get these results without the ESB. Can you give me an example perhaps of a student that you feel has really taken a lot from ESB? 
Um, there is a student who uh, has developed a, a taste for drama and when she was young she was a very shy girl who didn't come out of her shell very often and um, I don't think that without ESB she would have found that path into drama because it's given her the confidence to speak in front of people, it's given her the ability to learn for example, a poem of Bahad recite, um, to change her voice, to act, interact with the audience in, in the um, ESB room as well with, with the other pupils. And I think that the ESB, the yearly ESB, has helped her move into that direction very much. Okay. So, and finally, uh, just to ask you to. Uh, give us a recommendation if you were speaking to somebody from another school, another teacher, uh, what one overriding factor would you uh, suggest to them for them to do ESB at their school? What would be the, one, the number one thing that ESB gives? I think it's the uh, skill of speaking in public because it's become so important in, in the job world to be able to stand up in front of people and speak coherently about a certain topic. And they are trained over a number of years by following through the ESB um, syllabus. And I think that that skill is the main benefit pupils gain from ESB, so it's very well worth doing it. Nicole, can you tell me what do you feel your students particularly gain from ESB? I think confidence is one of the main factors because they are pushed out of their comfort zone very often and are made to do something they wouldn't usually do and they have to overcome maybe some fears or hide fears that um, they have to do very often in life and if they start early at the stage where they don't know any embarrassment yet or don't feel intimidated by certain situations they can, can be trained to, to have these, um, these skills or to, to train these skills. And um, another factor I think would be research. They have the opportunity to research a certain topic, a topic they're interested in, to learn more about a certain topic and to be able to structure that into a coherent talk is another element that's very, very useful in whatever subject really, uh, in whatever area of, of their professional life later on. Um, another element I would, I would say is a, is a big benefit um, would be having to interact with an audience, um, having to react to questions, for example, having to have a broader knowledge and not just concentrate on what they have just said, but think on the spot as well. That's something that they can train through ESB. And for us in, in our school, one important element is that we use ESB for the um, GC for their GCSEs for the speaking and listening part of the GCSEs, and um, I do think that having gone through uh, ESB every year, they've had enough training to do maybe better than they would do if we just set up an exam situation in the classroom. So I think there are plenty of benefits from ESB.